Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. We are learning about the how to do the animations in the UGS, right? We have seen the basic animations and also the transition wrapper component also we have seen. Now let's do one of the thing. Let's try. I will explain to you another concept how how we can do with the transition wrapper component. So if you want to apply transition for the dialog model, so if you are opening the dialog model, if you want to apply the transition for this, how you will apply? That one in the Vue.js. Let's try to see here. So what I will try to do is first, I will try to close this one. Okay, yeah. I will create a component. Okay, that is nothing but what I can say is dialog model dot vue. Here I will be having a template. And what I will try to do is so let's include this one here. Sorry, import dialog model model from sorry components components slash dialog model dot view so we have imported the dialog model and here this one we need to take it and we need to import it in the dialog model okay let's add this dialog model here so here it uh, be, uh, below the animated paragraph i will add new class is equal to my hyphen 3 here i will add dialog hyphen model right now here what i can say dialog hyphen model right so i have added the dialog hyphen model now let's try to see the output what it is saying the template requires child element okay what is the template requires child element okay we i think we need right here do i think so write the do here handle or something like this okay so well, let's try to see the output yeah so i am able to see the dialog here so i am able to see the text here so that means the component is loaded now let's try to design the dialog model so what i will try to do here here i will try to write something like do okay here i will be having do class is equal to backdrop okay and uh, i will have another one do class is equal to dialog this is the dialog okay so now i can write here style scope okay scope style and scope and in this one let's try to design the backdrop backdrop should be background color so background of rgba of 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 and another one will be background and here position will be fixed position will be fixed and the width will be 100 percent position will be fixed and width will be 100 percent and height also 100 percent so this is the backdrop and now the dialog dialog will be in such a way that dialog and here the dialog what will write it position will be this one also will be fixed sorry position will be fixed and here what i can write so width will be of 60 view port width okay and uh, what i can say left will be 20 60 70 80 yeah 20 view port width okay and the padding padding across the padding will be 20 pixel or something like this so this is the temp uh, this is the model and what i can do adding 20 pixel and here we will be giving the background color of white let's try to see the output here so if i try to see the output so this one is coming something uh, like this so what can we do is for example here if we try to see position is fixed and everything is fixed okay so this one is fixed yeah and here what i need to do left is zero pixel and the top also i need to give it as zero pixel okay and here let's try to see the output yeah we got the output and here i am able to see the one dialog window and here what i will try to do is so from the top from top onwards i can give 20 percent or something like this okay now if i try to see the output oh yeah this one is fine 
now i want this one is so now when i when i need to show this uh, what i can say this dialog model when we click here when we click any button here we need to show the dialog model so let's try to implement here what i can try what i can do is here do open dialog model or something like this okay uh, and i can write oh sorry this one we need to keep it in the button okay button or anchor link whatever you want you can make it so i will make it here button and here i can write at the rate click dot prevent open dialog this one is the method and here the class will be btn btn hyphen primary now open dialog this method we need to implement it here open dialog okay here what i will try to do we will change it the name to on open dialog so that we will be able to realize that this one method is a trigger method and here i can write on open dialog does the thing happen here go oh. okay yeah so now what i can do here i will maintain a open dialog will be the property false first time it will be a false and when somebody clicks on the method so i can do this dot open sorry this dot open dialog is equal to true so this is the method now dialog model this one is common now i will try to open this one if i try to refresh this one okay we are able to see the dialog model right why because we didn't apply the condition here so let's try to apply the condition so here i can write e hyphen if open dialog if it is the open dialog is there then i need to show the okay. yeah now if i click here i am able to see the open dialog so now if i refresh this one if i click here i am able to see the open dialog now this one is immediately it is coming it is flashing immediately so it would be better that if the dialog comes from the top top directly it, it slants directly from the top it will be better right so let's try to write the animation for this one so before that what i will try to do right is here 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 i will write div this is the dialog model okay in between this one what i will try to do here div and button okay so class is equal to btn btn icon primary i can write and at the rate click dot prevent what i can do open dialog is equal to false i can make the open dialog is equal to false so this is the thing if i try to see i want to show this output i want to show this output inside the dialog model so if i click here if i refresh here if i click here i am not able to see the output so what we need to do we have written the html element in between this component right so what we need to do here we need to write the slot so that the that html content will be replaced here now if i try to see the output see now you are able to see the output here if i click on ok if i click on ok it will go away if i again click it will go away so one thing we have did and here what i can do is for the button i can apply class is equal to my 3 or something like this okay now if i try to see the output yeah so it is better somewhat now what i need to do is so it should be in a transition mode so how need to, how to apply this transition so for this dialog model let's try to apply the transition okay so this is the dialog model dynamically got in uh, dynamic getting inserted right using the vip let's try to use the transition for this one okay this transition what i can do here bottom let's try to write the transition v hyphen enter hyphen from okay you will be having the two methods right the v hyphen enter hyphen two and v hyphen enter hyphen active so let's try to write the thing now what i will try to do here transform okay transform translate uh, y translate y top from minus 200 pixel or something like this okay so enter to it should be transform translate y of zero pixel i can apply like this so now what i need to do enter active so i need to apply the transition so what i need to apply transform okay so trans uh, what i can do so all you can keep all or otherwise you can keep transform okay so what i need to do here 
three zero uh, sorry zero point five seconds right yeah so this is the thing so let's try to check the output so if I refresh this one if I click here see I am able to see the translation but but if you see this translation it is not that much of nice why because so the the box is translating but here the entire thing is the, the uh, backdrop is getting uh, afterwards so that means whatever whatever the uh, intention we need to get the transition is not applying correctly so what is the problem here coming is so you have seen that transition so it is it should be applied only for the single element right so the transition is applying only for the single element but here it is applying to the whole this div okay whole this div so what is the content we need to get transition this is the content dialog is the con content which we need to get the transition so that is the reason we are getting like that so what we need to do so we need to remove this transition entirely and we need to add the transition to here whatever the content you need to get the animation you need to do here so the dialog box you need to get so backdrop and everything is getting animation so that is the reason we are not able to see so here i need to apply the transition here now i can copy all this code okay all this vif and enter vif and of everything and i can paste it in the dialog model now let's try to see the output okay if i click here I click here it is not applying so let's one one second let's try to refresh it okay okay fine so if i click here it is not applying okay so what is the what is the reason it is not applying then again again the problem is coming so why what is the thing is so this dialog is not dynamically inserted one according to this dialog model okay so according to this dialog model this is not the dynamically inserted one using va if any if i told you right so this transition component should be applied only for the va if any if va if and show whichever is dynamically added content it should be applied here the, the this content is not dynamically getting added so that is the reason what we need to do here again instead of instead of vif and if so we need to send this open dialog as the props so open you can write here open open dialog okay so now what i need to do you using this open props thing here i need to write the script here so you need to understand these all the differences so that is the reason i am writing each by each export default and here i can write props okay and this is the props open sorry open we are getting the props open now what i need to do so when this open is there vi if and if open i need to apply the op open when it is true only i need to apply the backdrop and also i need to apply this vi if and if now let's try to see the output see now if you try to see the output if i try to refresh here if i click here now see you are able to see the transition okay but here uh, but here now you can able to see the transition now if you see now we leave, now let's apply for this leaving also so what i can do here i can copy this one all so here it will be having leave here it will be having leave and here it will be having sorry here also it will be having leave okay now what i can do so leave from it should be from 0 pixel to minus 200 pixel it should go okay so here the same thing now let's try to see the output so if i refresh this one and if i try to check the output see okay it is going away now if you try to see the backdrop is going first and afterwards the dialog is going away so then let's apply transition for the background also okay so if you apply the transition for the background so transition and here transition now the problem arises what is the problem arises is so vi and enter if and from we are using right so for the transition also same thing is applied so same thing it is applied so now we can change the name here so that the class name custom name we can give so here i can write something like backdrop okay so now i can take this backdrop thing what i can do is here dot backdrop hyphen enter hyphen from okay so we can keep the custom name instead of v is the default one so backdrop is the custom one we what we need to do so here enter enter hyphen from so backdrop you can have hyphen enter hyphen to and here you can have backdrop hyphen enter hyphen active sorry enter hyphen active so i am having three classes again so what i will try to do so from opacity opacity it should be zero to opacity it should be opacity it should be one 
okay now here enter if an activity it will be apply transition okay transition i need to apply so for which one i need to apply opacity of one second or something like this you want to give okay so in the same scenario leave i need to give so for the leave hyphen from it should be opacity one so then what i can do is instead of writing it again i can write here comma backdrop hyphen uh, leave hyphen from i can write like this in the same scenario here dot backdrop hyphen leave hyphen two okay and here i can write comma backdrop hyphen leave hyphen active why because the same class i will be applying for this one so this is the thing what we can do so now let's try to see this output now if i try to see the output here if i click here see slowly transition applied if i click okay see slowly transition is going away okay so if I, if i go so slowly transition will be going away so this is how we will be applying the transitions for the dialog model so if you want to hear it is not matching right 0 0.5 seconds this one so you can keep the 0 0.5 seconds here also so that it will be matching with the dialog so when the dialog comes completely to down it will apply okay total you see here okay, like this okay so this is how we will be applying the dialog model if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel if you want this code so this code will be available in the github and the github repository will be provided in the below description link okay thank you